I made a high quality comprehensive 50 question FNAF quiz and got four of the biggest FNAF YouTubers to take it and compete against each other. Whoever gets the most questions right will have any single worldly wish granted to them by me. The questions were made up from every Scott made FNAF game, covering mostly trivia, character recognition, and game mechanics. The hardest part was balancing their difficulty, knowing who was taking my quiz, and how differently they've looked at the games. FNAF focuses on theories, and that has him looking into the games in great detail, but not necessarily mechanically. Tetrabit hasn't even played them all, but for the ones he has, he understands them in great detail and knows many of the more obscure facts about them. Then, while Daco and 8-Bit Ryan's content is fairly similar in what they do, Daco has played some of the games to a higher level and also replayed them occasionally during his charity streams. So with that knowledge, I tried to cover equal topics that each one would know about and let them at it. So which of these four knows the most? The way it will work is after I show each question, I'll show how each of them answered it, then tell you the answer. They won't know until the end. I'd encourage you to try and figure it out alongside them. And if you need more time, pause when the screen goes black because that's when I'll give the answer. At the halfway point, I'll check in and review how everyone's doing. But until then, welcome our contestants. Welcome to Splake's Quiz. State your name, John. Or FNAF. Jo John. So I'm hoping there's a fruit puncher for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know, um, I haven't revised or anything. So like, this is all just like an exam where you haven't revised for it. You know what I mean? Each question is worth two points, half points, blah, blah, blah. Or some questions, 100 points total. Okay, so state my name. I didn't realize that was the first question. Oh no, 100 points. Oh, okay, so I get, t I get two for just stating my name. That's great. Yeah. Okay, I've answered that one officially. <laughs> How many fingers does Fredward have? <laughs> There's about yeah. 20 Freddies. The original. The original Freddy has four. Yeah, I agree with the Freddy plushie. It's, <laughs> it's over. It's over, buddy. It's over for me. I mean, this could be this could be a trick question, though, right? Uh. I, I feel like I'm gonna go D, even though uh, you know. I, I, I'm, let me, was that good? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let's go. Are you asking how many fingers does Freddy have on both hands or one <laughs> hand? Darko. I'm not trying to mess with you. How many fingers does he have per hand? It's four. It's not a trick question, right? It's not like four fingers and a no. thumb. Okay. These okay, are okay. very direct questions. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to go with four. Yeah, the answer is four. I mean, on the previous page, I put a T-posing Freddy, which had four fingers. I probably should have made it clearer to Ryan that these were not trick questions. Which game is this screenshot from? <laughs> Victory. That has to be... Oh, Victory. That f that feels like it's a FNAF world, right? Is this location? Is that this baby mini game? Or it could be FNAF world? Victory when you beat a... When you finish a battle, which makes the most sense to me. Oh, no. I mean, immediately my brain goes to FNAF world. It might be Ultimate Custom Night. I think that looks like a world. I'm gonna go with... Well, I'm gonna go with the world. Okay. No, it's 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 world because I know Ultimate Custom Night doesn't have a background. It's it's a black background with the text. Pretty much, yeah. So I'm gonna say world. I'm gonna say world. I'll say world. I'll say okay. world. Indeed, it is world. From every time you win a battle, and it comes in many colors. How'd you get blacklisted? You? Uh, oh my god. You yeah. know, the only reason I I know about this ending was because I watched you do like the marathon of all of them. Oh yeah. To be blacklisted is you're doing something bad, but getting sued 10 times is bad. Getting 50 risk is also really bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not risk because risk cause, causes lawsuits. So I would mm -hmm. assume it's lawsuits. I haven't gotten all the endings. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I have seen the blacklist. I, I remember seeing Markiplier get it forever ago. I think it's you deny everything. So I'm gonna go with that. I mean, it makes the most sense. You blacklisted because you didn't you didn't listen to Henry. So you mm -hmm. okay? I'll go with that. No, no. I'll say get sued. I think it's get sued. I, I mm, I'm gonna go with that. Uh, it's got getting. I'm gonna go getting sued ten times. This is probably why this video of mine has done so well. Nobody knew how to get this ending even years after the game came out. 
And it looks like our four contestants haven't watched the clown video either. You only need 50 risk to get blacklisted. Animatronics and lawsuits don't matter. In FNAF 1, what combination of keys can be pressed to skip a night? Uh, CD plus. That's a thing? Okay. Yeah, uh, these are handy. You're gonna learn some tips here. <laughs> this is how to be FNAF tuber 101. Oh no, I don't, I don't know these. CD, no, it's CD plus. If it's not, I'm sorry. Let's go control D plus. I feel like control C is too close to copying and pasting. I felt like it's gonna be a weird combination. No control. I feel like CD plus, that's just weird. Yeah, it is pretty weird. It is a weird combination of keys, but it is CD plus. Specifically the plus on the numpad. Weird to have a command that doesn't require control. How many characters can you collect in FNAF world? We got paper plate, extra, we got coffee machines. I'm gonna go 56. All right. I might regret that one. Oh, screw you. <laughs> Halloween so characters? That square. Oh my god. The Halloween um, old characters only adds one layer, like one row on the bottom. Oh, okay. So let me think. Or I should know this. It's eight by six. It's either six or seven. Or is it eight? There's the row with Nightmare Ronan and Scott. One, two, three, four, five, six. How much time do I have to think? Um, as much as you want. Okay. I'm going to say 48. I feel like it would be the lowest, right. but I don't know. Do you want to draw them? Oh my God. I'm going to say 48. I'm going to go 48. <laughs> is that your final answer, John? No, because usually like <laughs> C, C is usually the right answer. Um, that is not accurate at all. But, uh, okay. What am I doing? I, I, I can just count the characters. FNAF oh. 1, 4, FNAF 2, FNAF 3. I'm saying 48. Sorry. Right. Sorry that took so long. Oh, that's fine. This one's tough. It's one that even I probably wouldn't have gotten if I didn't look it up for the quiz. There are rows of eight, and I know that, but there's six rows, so 48 characters. Now, name or describe two secret characters in UCN. So this is XOR, I think it is. Zor. And another secret character. I don't include uh, XOR like push trap and or, stuff. Or, the, or the pink oh. one. I include the ones that they bring in. Oh, so Zor. Oh, you. Oh, so th you, you're not. This isn't included. This 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 one. Yeah, yeah. No, XOR is not included in the six. Do you. Oh, you mean the additional characters, so like Nightmare Chica with the jaws, and then like. I mean, yeah, the, uh, ones, push the ones that aren't on the menu. XOR is not a secret character. XOR spawns the secret characters. It's XOR, by the way. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, you make a quiz then. Oh, you're right. Um, JJ and Shadow Bonnie. No. Would you know this? Like, if Dude, you... I know all six. I mean, I beat 50 20. There's six could... of them? I, yeah. <laughs> I could name all six like boom, 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 boom. Uh, what is that? So, do you remember the pink character that added characters in UCN? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, JJ, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. not JJ, but yeah. Um... Oh, people go, I'm, I'm done. I'm done in the comments. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I'm thinking of like the, yeah. the, the broom and stuff, but that's act. that's a normal, or the. <laughs> The closet supply characters, whatever their name is. Ration uh, gang. Yeah. I must say there's like a pig one. Uh, pig. There's half points available, so you know. Okay. Shadow Freddy. Sure. Let's go with that. Shadow Bonnie. No, I've got brain rot. I think I, I'm just gonna put Shadow Freddy. I mean, surely he's gonna be there. Surely. Surely. Because I know JJ is in the game, but Shadow Bonnie, I would say, is in the game as well. On a chica and push trap. So these are six characters that don't show up on the list of 50 and aren't DD or X1. Neither of these characters show up on the list of 50. Then right. you have your two. Right. Next. It's definitely hard to remember which are the secret characters if you never beat 5020. So it's no surprise that Daco is the only one who got the full two points. They are Nightmare Chica, Shadow Bonnie, Plush Trap, Minarinas, Bonnet, and Lolbit. One of the four playable characters in Fury's Rage yells, Protein Shake. Well, that's easy. I can get that one. That's, nice. Mon that's Montgomery. Uh, Monty. I guess Monty. I'd, <laughs> I'd pick Monty out of everybody. This has to be Monty. I feel like Monty is going to yell that. Freddy's Freddy worked out too. You know? Mm -hmm. that's, I'm going to go Monty. Okay. Quick fire with that one. Buff Gator. Protein Shake. Yes. Which has a bigger circle area? 
one of them has a bigger circle area. Which has a bigger... Hey! <laughs> I know this! Which has the bigger circle! It's lemonade there for everyone! Because I remember! Hey, see? So you Thank you. you. Yeah. I'm going to say Fruit Punch has the bigger circle area. I've seen you play the one where it's like, Fruit Punch for everyone. Wow, you said so, that really well. I know, it's weird. I was actually the voice actor for it. Oh, yeah, I believe it. I actually wasn't. Scott, hire me, please. Full disclosure, I don't know, but I'm going to go with Fruit Punch because you showed Lemonade. Fruit Punch one, I feel like that would be harder because you get more points for it. So I'm going to say Lemonade has the bigger circle. Ryan described it perfectly. Fruit Punch gives more points, so Lemonade has a more lenient circle. Which character is a goods vendor in FNAF World? It is... Lulbit. It's not Ennard. <laughs> it's not Balloon Boy. It's, it's Lulbit, for sure. Oh, you mean, okay, you like the items. Yeah, so it's Lulbit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lulbit, right? I'm, okay, that, that's a quick one. That's a quick one. I feel like that's Bingo. something. I'm shocked how quickly they all got it. I mean, all of them struggled a lot harder on the victory screen that you see constantly in game. But as soon as they have to remember a random shopkeeper they saw once, it's like, oh yeah, no problem. Which game is the screenshot from? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? So surely you know this answer then. Okay, I see the spray can. I see a lot of dithering. Well, that's Glamrock Freddy, so, so I can see the blue nails it's obviously curry but it's a ruin um spray paint can yeah. means something isn't great i'm gonna try ruin i'll try ruin dlc let's see what that one thinks what the heck is that thing in front of him is that a cactus what is that <laughs> is it a drink i gotta say ruin i don't know it looks really bright though so i'm doubting myself i mean that looks like a graffiti can so i'd say it's ruin but because of the graffiti everywhere. That's the only assumption I've got. It's either B or C. I'll go with Ruin DLC because of the graffiti can. That's literally it, even though there could be one in Security Breach. I don't know. I'm just going to go with Ruin. I'm not overthinking it. I don't remember seeing that plushie in Security Breach, so I want to say it's either Help Wanted or Dreadbear. I'm going to go with Dreadbear. I actually thought the lighting in this one would give it away because it's the entrance to Ruin, and in my head, that's the only game with such an intense orange glow. But instead, the spray can ended up being the biggest giveaway. What does Rockstar Foxy tell you before killing you? Me bird likes you. <laughs> Me bird doesn't. Uh, before killing you in Ultimate Cosmic. Um, yeah. You win some, you lose some. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> uh, I thought he just says R. Yes, he says R before <laughs> everything. <laughs> yeah. I think it's you'll get no help from me if I'm not mistaken, which I probably am. Oh my gosh, man. It's like... Uh... It's, it's things that you hear so many times you grow accustomed to and don't think about it when you hear it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I, I tried I, to make all of these sound like he could be saying them. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm reading it and I'm hearing it in the voice too. <laughs> yeah. I feel, I feel like he's going to blame the bird for this one. Me bird doesn't like ya. You win some, lose some. Yeah, it's that one. Aye. Daco confidently went into me bird doesn't like ya because Foxy says me bird likes ya if you're successful. It's, yeah, you win some, you lose some. When you're dead. Which console got a dedicated game patch that allowed Twitch integration? I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> that was the Google Stadia. And then the mm -hmm. Google Stadia died. Well, no, it wouldn't be Stadia, because that's Google's. I was gonna say, I feel like that'd be a weird Stadia thing, but Stadia would probably wouldn't want a Twitch integration thing. I don't think Switch. Stadia's dead, but maybe they oh, could have they tried to push for that, you know? Maybe PlayStation. I saw a lot of people stream PlayStation, but then that could have been because Xbox was broken. So then they patched it. Well, Xbox just like it was a, it came out as a PS5 exclusive and it only Oh, well, Xbox, there you go. Stadia and Switch later on. I'm going to say PS5. All right. They messed up a lot at launch. They probably messed up live streaming too. <laughs> if I haven't heard about this, then I'm going to say it's Stadia. I don't know. I feel like that would yeah, I'm going to go with Stadia. I'm going to go with PS5 just because Sony stuff. Not only did the Google Stadia get Twitch integration that allowed viewers to vote on which in-game paths to take, but it got its own patch entirely with Stadia exclusive bug fixes. Then yeah, it died. Probably unrelated. 
How much power does Foxy take the first time he bangs on the door in FNAF 1? Now that is what I will not be able to answer. Well, this, 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 this screenshot, by the way, I don't remember this from the game. And you would be the person that after we get done with this quiz, all of the answers were like B or something. That would be <laughs> such a you thing. Dang it, bro. I'm saying one. The first time he bangs. <laughs> Oof. Ass? Um, <laughs> all right, let's go with six. I'm gonna say 11. It, it takes some. I would have picked 11% people watching, but I'm, I'm gonna go with the safe route and pick the lower option, mainly because it seems more logical that it would take less power when he first bangs and then it gets worse. I'll go six. I have a memory from years ago of Foxy taking like 15%, but I guess that would have been the fourth time he banged because the first time is 1%. How many speeches does Mr. Hippo have? Oh God, uh, which, which game is Mr. Hippo even from? I recently watched all of the Ultimate Custom Night voice lines in a video. Well, um, this will do it. There's the one about nothing means anything. And then there's, I think there's another one. I'm gonna say two. Let's go with three. Me and UCN don't have a good uh, relationship. Oh, um, you're the best, uh, UCN. So like the the the, mem the memories of my brain is just deleted oh, UCN yeah. out, my, out my life. Yeah, like a bad math class. Yeah, exactly. I'll go with three. Three is the safe safest option to me. Maybe three. I think the voice actor would have been like angry if Scott wanted more. So I'm gonna say three. While Ryan is the most considerate, thinking about how the voice actor feels about it. Scott must have made the VC very angry because Mr. Hippo has four stories. The story is just a story one, what looks like a theorist roast, uh, breadcrumbs with Orville, and I don't know what the last one talks about. There's four. What time does Nightmare take Fredbear's place? Um, um, 4 a.m. I feel like that would be like a last hour thing. Let's go with that. It's definitely not... F oh, wait, it could be five. And again, me and FNAF 4. <laughs> <laughs> not best of friends. Not the best. No. I'm going to go with my first brain, 4. Go with 4 a.m. All right. 3 a.m.? Uh, do they trade places? I would say 3 a.m. Funny enough, I've never beaten Night 6. This was a question from chat. I thought it would be 3 a.m. halfway, but uh, it's 4 a.m. Which animatronic is this? Where's the picture? Okay. No, there it is. <laughs> it's like, hang on. I'm getting scammed. There is no animatronic. Trick question. And I know this is killer, but you are allowed to go up. Oh, and you can change your runs. Oh, no. What? Why? Why? I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. Let me just check something real quick. <laughs> um. Oh, my God. Bro. Ooh. I said the same thing to Ryan. That's funny because it's not that far. <laughs> <laughs> so I can tell what animatronic this is based on this alone. <laughs> so this could be Ennard. Um, The Ooh. white is cropped. I would look more at the oh. very edge of what is seeable. Okay, so I have no idea. Hang on, uh, can, am I allowed to go back a question? Sure. <laughs> I'm going back. Oh! <laughs> Wait, what's his name? What's his name? <laughs> Mr. Hippo. I was like, who else is purple? It's not purple guy. Yes. That looks like Mr. Hippos. And you can see you did the Photoshop here with the purple. You can still see it's a little bit of purple. It's intentional. It's got gray eyelids. So I thought like, okay. <laughs> okay. I see now. <laughs> I see it. I see it. I think this was a bit mean. I probably shouldn't have cropped it, so I gave them a pretty hefty clue. The tilted eye of Mr. Hippo. Which is the location I got nerfed? Night 4, 100%. I hated that thing with the like, the little cranks. I beat that, by the way, before the patch. That's insane. I haven't even tried. Uh, That was Night 4. Night 4. Uh, night 4. Yeah. yeah. The only reason I, I had the dedication to Pete was because I needed to get my video out day one. Yeah, it was like, cool, for sure. I, I wasn't established enough then, so it was like true stress, but oh, I remember yeah, that. True. I think Night 4 is figured out enough now that I could beat the original version in not too many tries. But when it first came out, that night was a demon. And these four remember that. 
which of these does foxy.exe say? Oh, I would know this, bro. They're all correct. Two yeah, have one uh, word that's switched. Do you know what this is even? No. <laughs> is this like from AR? This one's wrong. All right. This makes sense. And that kind of could be switched. Like when you flee, how fast can you see? But that also doesn't make sense. I didn't like flip words. I only changed. Them. Oh, that's that why I was too mean. If I just man, I, I I got nothing. I mean, this is what Foxy would say. I'm just gonna go A on that one. In FNAF World Update two, don't have a. <laughs> but like every game that you play on right now, just got bad memories. Hey, we'll get to all. Of them. <laughs> I think it's A. I'm gonna go with A. Listen to my voice and you will find the key, he says. Be sure you're a step through the heart of madness. I said, what a god. I know, when you see how fast <laughs> can you flee. This is from World. It's oh, okay. a okay, I've not secret minigame. Oh, um, okay. I like that one. It rhymes. I feel like that's probably a thing. Despite all three, besides John, either never having seen this or it having been years ago, they all got it. B is supposed to be, listen to my voice and you will find the key. And C is supposed to be, be sure your step through the heart of madness. How do you make Phantom Foxy go away? Um, well, I know you can get rid of him in Help Wanted VR. Yeah, <laughs> until your microphone twists his nose. Go back into cams before fully looking at him. You can't just take the elbow, so I think you can't. I feel like that's one of these, like, fun facts that if you on your mic, it makes him go away. Can you actually get rid of him? Can you not get rid of I swear you can't get rid of him. I'm probably going to get like 20% on this quiz. Uh, let's go with C. No, I'll go with C. I feel like... Uh, I'll go with C. I'm not, I'm not going to overthink it. Yeah, I feel like I remember if he, if you drop your monitor, you can see him out of the corner of your eye. I think you have to just get over it. Like, you just got to take the owl. <laughs> I want to try it. I don't think there's any phantoms in any games that just have zero outplay potential. But FNAF 3 is such a soup and Phantom Foxy is kind of rare, so you could win without ever learning how to actually stop it. But you can. Just <laughs> go back into camps. Which animatronic is this? Bro, what? We got your boy, DJ Khaled, <laughs> headphones, crossed arms. Hang on, DJ music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. So DJ Khaled <laughs> plus uh, oh, it's DJ Music Man, right? <laughs> Headphones and DJ is giving me hints. I don't know what the last thing's supposed to be. Crossed Arms Man. Oh, I see. DJ Music Man. I got it. You can figure it out. DJ Music <laughs> Man. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> that scared me. I'm like, uh, another one. Uh, headphones. Yeah. Man. I'm almost tempted to make a quiz entirely like this. I think it would be pretty fun. But yeah, DJ Music Man. A freebie. Uh, how many audio lures do you get before needing to reset audio in FNAF 3 on night 5? There's a set number? And it changes every night. Now, that, see, I didn't understand the mechanics for FNAF 3 at all. I didn't even know that was the way it worked. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not at 5, so it's most difficult. So I'm going to say 2 or 3. 5, I feel like it's probably pretty low. With 2. 3. YOLO 3. Probably 2, though. I'll say two. It has to be two. So I'm going to say, because I would have done it a few times, maybe four. I'm going to try four. All right. The number of audio lures goes down every night. And at night five, you have two before needing to reset the audio devices. Okay, I kind of messed up uh, with this question by not making it clear which Bonnie I was referring to. Hang on. Is Bonnie's guitar the one that he gives to Monty? Is that still Bonnie's guitar? Oh god, I guess so. Okay. Bass, I think. Dun, 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 dun. Five. Something Brain like would say Brain would say six, so I'm gonna lock it in. Da, 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 da. Was it four? Da, 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 da. I think it's five or six. Oh my god. Five. Luckily for Ryan, who guessed. I have to give everyone points here because I only said Help Wanted Bonnie for FNAF and Daco, and Tetrabit referred to the Ruined Bonnie. Which FNAF game can dock- Wait, a game can dock you if you play it live? Yes. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which FNAF game can dock you if you play it live? AR. Jeez. <laughs> like, That's what? everyone's reaction until they see AR. <laughs> That's gotta be AR. There's no way it's not AR. 
hopefully not Freddy in space too. They are, because like the map, right? That's how I'd, that's what I'd think. Okay, after the quiz, you need to tell me which one so I don't ever play it. Well, I'm... Oh, wait, wait, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Fury's Rage can dox me? Oh, I, okay. was, I was thinking like, there's no way these guys don't know this one. Yeah, I didn't, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't read the answers. I was just scared about being doxed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how viable it is to narrow down someone's address via this little map, but looking at mine, it is concerningly accurate. What is the name the keypad gives you when you try to type in your name such location like one? Uh, ooh, Eggs Benedict. It's Eggs Benedict, right? It has to be, yeah. Eggs Benedict. Okay, I thought it was gonna be the, the butters one, but it's Eggs Benedict. Yeah, I don't know if raw tofu or avocado toast were going to fool anyone. Welcome to the halfway point in the quiz. Let's check in with our contestants. At this point, a perfect score would be 50, but we all know that everyone has had some bumps in the road. It seems our four contestants have paired off in competition with each other. 8-Bit Ryan and Tetrabit sit just one point apart, with Tetrabit having that slight edge with 31 out of 50 so far. Now with the other two contestants, a 43 and 41 are both mighty impressive scores. But at our halfway point, it is Darko who leads the pack with 43, missing only seven possible points so far. John's not far behind, however, and just one question could be the difference in the next 25 questions. Two pairs of rivals, who will come out on top? For Ryan and Tetrabit, pride and bragging rights are on the line. For John and Daco, a wish granted by their house. Who will rise up? Who will fumble? Find out as we enter our second half of the Splig Quiz. Which game is this? Image doesn't create the name, but more so explains the gameplay. Dark, cry, <laughs> sleep. <laughs> Charlie bit me. That's all I'm getting, like the old school YouTube stuff. It's darkness plus a baby. <laughs> Plus sleep. So I think of FNAF 4. By the boy is FNAF 4. <laughs> this is not the boy. And then it... dream theory of sleep in bed. And then I think of Ruin, where you have to disable all of the wet floor signs and you hear the baby crying. And when you disable them, they go to sleep. Wow, but... that is the most theorist way of looking into this. <laughs> <laughs> well, sleep. What games do you sleep in? I guess most of them, but... That's like off. That's not part of the gameplay. Sleep. I'm, it's, I'm just going to throw out that. It's going to be FNAF 4. It has uh, way simpler than that. I man. know. Okay. It's FNAF 4. But what about the baby? What about the baby? We'll have what to did talk you about mean that by later. that? You know, what if FNAF 4 is not right? I can't explain it to you. Sleeping comfortably. Comfortably. Mm, yes. Which game do you sleep comfortably? I don't know if you sleep comfortably, but. <laughs> I go with FNAF 4 because you're a child and it's dark and you have a flashlight and you end up sleeping. Oh no. You're making me overthink it with that picture of that baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> baby's a real killer. John, what's the baby doing? It's biting. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Fairly straightforward. As long as you can stop yourself from driving headfirst into baby-related rabbit holes. Dark game, bite, bed. Which is your favorite cam in FNAF 3? Huh? Huh? Alright, I'm gonna take a shot in the dark. Five's calling out to me. Okay, well I always pick cam 10, so... I'm gonna go with cam 10. What? Because I don't understand. If, you have a favorite- If you've tried to play the game deathless. There is a clear outlier among these cams. Okay, well, that context would have been nice. Yep, no problem. Um... <laughs> Cam 10 is like the OP one, right? Because that's when you, you keep him locked at the back. You would think... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say 10. I'm, I, you're either shaking your head or nodding right now. I can't see, but I hope, it's, uh, hope you're nodding. Cam 5. That sounds very familiar. So I'm just going to say Cam 5. I actually meant to use Cam 7 as an outlier because it has the Chica Phantom on the arcade machine, but 2, 5, and 10 are definitely the best cams to stall Springtrap app depending on where he is, so any of those three answers are correct. In Pizza Sim, it's impossible to get every ending in one playthrough if you allow yourself to replay Saturday. What? 
If you die, then Lefty quickscopes you. Hmm. Effectively the same as saying no. Okay. That is difficult. That makes me think maybe C is accurate with this one. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know if they gave Lefty a sniper, but... He, do, he, he figures it out. Yeah. I feel like yes, because I believe you made a video about that. But was that successful? <laughs> Perhaps not. No, I, I mean, I felt like you played multiple times in your video, so I'm going to say no and hope I'm right again. No, it's not. There's an ending where you don't salvage any of the animatronics and you just throw them out. All right. So that's a no. If there's an ending where you can't salvage any of the animatronic, but then again, they could slip in. And then obviously insanity ending, lawsuit. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. This one is very much in reference to my video, in which I was able to get five out of these six endings this way, including the lazy ending. The only one that made it impossible was bankruptcy, because you can't get sued after Saturday night, and getting sued also deletes your save. How many unique times can you encounter MapBot in Security Breach? Half and. points for... Oh, that's this is not that evil of a one. Is it MapBot that jump scares you before Vanessa jump scares you? I th think it is. I don't think I found any more, but if there is any more, it's somewhere that I haven't played through yet. So let's go with three. There is a fourth time that one, the, the fire escape ending or the VIP ending or something. Oh, the fire escape ending where MapBot lands on the windshield of your van. Do you count that one? Number two or three. I mean, one point if I'm off, so... I'm gonna go with three. Do you ask count that one? Look at the question and ask yourself if I count it. How many unique times can you encounter MapBot in Security Breach? Take a map or take an eternal nap. Half points for one. I, I, I would say, yeah, you probably count that Is one. Is it an encounter? Does he show up on the screen? He, he, the MapBot is on the screen in that moment. Okay. Cray. Okay, we're saying four. And then after that, I don't know. I'm going to say three because if it's half a point for one off, if it's like four yeah. or two, I get the half a point. Yeah, so that is pretty safe. One for the first map, two for the Vanessa catch, three for the Endos map, and a tricky four where you hit him with a van. Which animatronic is this? That's L chip. <laughs> Dude. Oh, that's straight away. John sure. spent 15 minutes on this question. Really? <laughs> Holy moly. What am I looking at? This looks like poop. <laughs> like, this looks like logs of poop. So that's not a guitar, that's a banjo. So that is Did a... you change the colors in this image? No. That would be cruel. Uh, no, I don't know what to say here. All right, uh, I'm gonna give you a hint. Okay. Beaver. Why does that not help me? Oh, wait, no, it's... Uh, what's his name? Let's see, it's... Even though I don't remember seeing him holding a guitar, but I don't think no anything else would be too too out there for me. L, I'm just gonna put L and let's see if the rest comes to me. <laughs> L, it begins with a C. Oh man, you are on fire. L, L, Ch L Chip? Is it L Chip? L Chipper? <laughs> Chip? Oh no, I'm gonna say L Chip. I think that's wrong. Oh man. Be thinking yeah. it, overthinking it. He was thinking it was uh, Pink Patch. Pink patch? I was, I was thinking in my head, like, dude, pink patch is pink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I instantly recognized the, the fingers and the, yeah. the, the guitar, so. Pig patch has a banjo, but pig patch doesn't look like this. Huh? I said pig patch is a pig. Very helpful. <laughs> Unless this orange isn't part of the animatronic. Ooh. Sorry, the pig is terrible. I hate you. It's just um, so zoomed in. Ah, uh, there's no way it's pig patch. Bro is pink. The the brown fingers are throwing me off. L chip also comes to mind, but I don't know if he's holding a banjo. I'm not sure how many have banjos. So it's probably pig patch. Do I get help? No. <laughs> okay. That picture is of the animatronic. Do you think this is hard? Or do you think I should have gotten um, this? I actually don't think this one is hard if you can think of all the characters. Oh, I can't say too much without giving it away. Once I don't you figure it's... out the instrument that it's holding. No, I think if you can think of most animatronics in the game off the top of your head, this should be easy. While John is FNAFing, let me show you a picture of Pig Patch. But you know, don't overthink it, John. Is this an obscure animatronic? 
No more obscure than Pig Patch, that's for sure. And like Pig Patch is almost as obscure as they come. But I feel like El Chip's more obscure than that. I put them in the same category. Okay, I'm just gonna go El Chip. Screw it. Yeah, the only animatronic that's this dark shade of brown is El Chip. If someone asked me, I wouldn't be able to say if he has a banjo or not either, but he's the only dark brown animatronic in the franchise. Which is the name of a sponsor you can take for dollars in Pizzeria Sim. Oh, that's a good point. This is another one where they all three have a word switched out. Lally's Lollies, that's not one. This is <laughs> Wacky Wart, Fizz Time Energy, Dave's Floss. Energy Wacky, I don't think it's Wacky Wart Pace, Dave's Floss. I don't, I don't remember seeing these two. It's time energy, actually. Oh, it's time energy. I don't accept the sponsors, bro. I don't. <laughs> you still see them. I feel like it would be Fizz Time Energy. It's like the only thing that's in the universe they can sponsor. Yeah, but then they're sponsoring themselves. Why would they pay themselves? No, I'm going to go with Dave's Floss. I don't care. I don't think it is. that. I think it's Dave's Floss. I'm going with Dave's Floss. <laughs> I'm going to go with Dave's Floss. Sure. I think it's Fizz Time Energy, I think. I mean, Wacky Wall Pace, that, that doesn't... That doesn't ring right for me. I'll, I'll say Fizz Time. I'll play it safe. I think I'm wrong. Almost guaranteed. I got him with this one. It is Wacky Warp Paste. The other three are incorrect. They are Fizz Time Pop Soda, Marty's Plungers, Lally's Lollies, and Flo's Glossy Floss. What time of night does getting the head in an SB Sayer game to? I, ooh. It's near the end of the game because this used to be the only way you could save before the last part of the game. In the original security breach, you could collect the head and then you could like run back to a save point so yeah. you could like save when you're not supposed to be able to. 5 a.m.? I think it's 5 a.m. Oh my god, this. Is, uh, it's 4 or 5, man. I'll go with 4. It's gotta be 5. I think. I hope. Oh god. It's close to the end game. I'm gonna go. Let's go 5. It's actually kind of surprising that it is 5 a.m. Given that you do all of Arcade and kill Roxy in an hour afterwards. But yes, the 5 a.m. time set was how you saved in the post game for the first couple months after the game released. What does Glam Freddy tell Gregory when Burn Trap tries to control him? <laughs> Stop him. He's coming. Help me. Uh, it's, it's probably he's got my fastballs. <laughs> I would say Stop. almost definitely. <laughs> he's. He's got my first ball. <laughs> what is this picture I'm looking at? Is this Smash Bros? Yeah, it's Smash Bros. Ultimate. Wow. Final boss fight. Amazing. Okay, this looks incredible. I need to play this game. It is good. It's a good, really good campaign. I think it's He's Coming. Oh, God. Let's go with that. YOLO. Stop him. He says, stop him. He's got my first balls. That's something that Raz would, like, put in a title. <laughs> True. So, I don't think it's that one. <laughs> I feel like he would he would he would try and like help, so I'm gonna say he's coming. Alright. Here's the line I'm talking about. What was that? Oh, okay. How many games does Helpy show up during? DLCs count individually. Ultimate Pizza Rear Simulator, he's doing his taxes and stuff. Yep. Not is that correct? Is or is that yeah, that is that one. Pizza Rear Simulator, not ultimate. Pizza Sim. Obviously, he's in UCN. Yeah, he's in, he's in Security Breach main base game. He's in T. Even, even, even an image is in Yeah, like game. a cutout. Yeah, six. Help Wanted 2 doesn't count. Yep. What about FNAF AR? Uh, nope. Okay, <laughs> so let's do six. Ooh, probably also appears in AR. Okay, six. Let's go with six. Maybe? I'm gonna go three, I think. Let's try and lock in three. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, Ryan. It's technically seven. I totally forgot what AR and only John remembered, but still chose six. Helpy has at least made an appearance in all FNAF content since Pizza Sim. What is camera stalling? Specifically camera stalling during the Click Team games. Staying in cams to stop enemies from moving, leaving your camera on a room to stop enemies in there from jump scaring the player in or Aren't these the same thing? Uh, no, because one is staying in cams and the other is doing something that takes effect in or out of cams. Entering, exiting, and re-entering the cams with one frame of closing them, gaining the ability to be in cams without losing power. 
I'm going to say B, but this seems like... There's a lot of words there. And, yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Like, he's... Is it a lot of words because it's right? Because that's an actual mechanic, like a tactic? <laughs> Busty lefty fruit punch clown. <laughs> 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 I, have to, I have to take in, take in the, the images after. Oh, I think I did this. Because I, I remember in, in uh, Ultimate Custom Night, what you would do is you would like for the vent, you would let all of them kind of get right to the vent. Right. And then you would then you would close it, open the cams quickly, drop it open, and then you're good to go. Yeah. Because they would not come in the room. That's actually... Uh, office stalling so ah, okay they can't enter because you haven't like you're just chilling in the office. right i'm gonna go see that sounds a bit more technical i feel like that's maybe right you know what let's go i feel like it's the frame stalling that's probably what it is that seems like like a like a mechanic i mean that's what fnaf one it's like how do you get rid of freddy you have okay. to keep your camera on the so i'm gonna click this one although these are pretty much the same thing they are not <laughs> okay b no, this seems right to me because I feel like, well, specifically in UCN mm -hmm. with the plushies, that stops them completely. But is it called camera stalling? The one frame no power is just total bullshit I made up on the spot. Camera stalling is when you stall a room of animatronics by keeping your camera on them in or out of camp. Best to use in FNAF 1 with Freddy or UCN with the plushies. Which game's fan is this FNAF 2? Thank you. That's 2. I know that instantly. Nice. I know that tragic background. Oh, bad memories. That game was... I think that's one of the scariest, you know, oh, out of I the FNAF. Agree. The ambience. Yeah. Like, it kills it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just something about it. It does not sit right. <clears throat> FNAF 2. <laughs> um, that might be the middle window in FNAF 2. Let's go with that. This is pretty easy. I mean, yeah. It's pretty obvious. Also, 2 is objectively scariest FNAF game. Down with 4, it's just loud. What is a zero flame flame frame flip? I mean, zero flame... I keep saying flame flip. Um, Opening the cams on such low FPS that you can accomplish <laughs> tasks before the games moves to the next frame and close them. <laughs> bit, of a, bit of a brain melt in mm -hmm. there. Ooh. That sounds like that one short you made. Mm, was that what it was called? All right, let's go down. Put Team Berg where the cam fails to open when you flick them. Opening the cams on such low FPS that you can accomplish tasks before the game. That's interesting, if that would be true. I mean, again, that feels so detailed, and I can kind of imagine people <laughs> figuring that out, that that would probably be the right answer. Or am I just totally BSing you? Oh yeah, are you, are you, just, are you just babbling, the babble of 87? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it, I'm gonna still try it before it goes on screen i mean that makes sense because it's zero frames there's no nothing shows because like opening closing on the first frame wouldn't it be like the one frame flip because you're showing the first frame right. of like the static or whatever i'll go with a it's probably b though so that sounds like a zero frame flip because this would be a one frame flip this is a zero frame flip the whole D low FPS thing is again, just totally out of my ass. I needed a fourth option. How would you accomplish any tasks when the game isn't moving forwards in frames? How do you unlock the VIP fire ending, prize counter ending and security? Okay. I've heard so many different <laughs> explanations for this from my chat. Technically, both of these are right. If you get all collectibles, you can unlock this. Uh, what is the minimum? Oh, okay. How do you unlock the VIP fire ending? Uh, you collect just a lot of crap, right? Very nice. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't get all of them when I got the ending, so I'm gonna say that one, the bottom one. I feel like that would probably be it. I know it's either A or B, but I've I've heard equal people tell me equal things. I feel like it would be non-essential because I mean you're gonna get the essential ones anyway. But would that also not mean all collectibles? Well, well hmm. there's more than thirty-nine non-essential collectibles. Oh, minimum thirty-nine. Okay, I think it's that one. Both. You only need all gold plushies and you only need 39 non-essential ones. So are you saying if you go up to the door with all gold plushies, it'll open? I'm going to say this one because you're scaring me. I'm sure it's gold plushies. So I swear I made a video about get how to get the endings and I said all gold plushies. And it worked for me, if I remember correctly. I'll go with all gold plushies. 
Fun story, this question was what led me to Daco's YouTube channel for the first time. Because of chat, I had gotten all the gold plushes and couldn't get the ending, so I looked it up and saw Daco's video on it, and while this is certainly how Steel Wool intended for it to be unlocked, like how it's mentioned in the Security Breach guidebook, because of Spaghetti SB code, it ended up being 39 non-essential collectibles. I talked to Daco about this and we realized he must have gotten over 39, then very fairly attributed the ending to the golds. It's also possible that this is fixed with the small SB patch that came with Ruin. I haven't checked. <laughs> Does the unscrew ability chance of killing enemies instantly work on bosses in FNAF World? Ooh, unscrew. I'm going to say yes, because the other one does. I honestly didn't even know it was it would kill enemies instantly. I thought it was just like a bunch of points off, like the fourth wall. With basic enemies, at least, it's uh, 30 or 50 unscrew and unscrew two. Oh, then I'm going to say that's basic. There's no that's way. Basic. Because I feel like I don't see people doing that when they're facing off, like, the owl thing. Right. I see people spamming, like, fourth wall. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say no. Does it? I feel like people try it. I'm going to say yeah. Yeah, I beat Chipper. I, the only way I, be, I beat Chipper was using unscrew. Yes! It works on every enemy in the game. John kind of got screwed over by asking about how it works normally. I tried to stress that 30% was for basic enemies because it's like 1% or lower on bosses. But it does work. Who is the fifth unlock? Okay. It's definitely Slenderman. Yeah. No, uh, the fifth. No idea. Literally no <laughs> idea. Slenderman, the ultimate crossover. I don't see the puppet and Nightmare Own running around the game. Right. They got little stub feet. I'm going to say Golden Freddy. It's the puppet then. I'm sure. Wait. Like, play Golden Freddy's the last, last one. You play. Can you play this puppet? A puppet, puppet, puppet. I think this is the only one I didn't play from like Scott's spin off games, you know? Yeah, fair enough. It's uh, It was for the uh, Game Theory charity event. Who would they put? Why am I thinking in my brain that the puppet's playable? Because, jeez. <laughs> It's always two, like, I know it's one of the two, but then I have yeah. to guess it keeps happening. Oh, There's a fifth unlockable character. I don't think it's Puppet. I don't think it's Endo. I'm going to say Golden Freddy. I swear the Puppet has a character. Does he have a character? Does she have a... Uh, la, 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 la. That's a good question. I'll go with Golden Freddy. Watch it be the Puppet. Golden Freddy would make the most sense. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, let's try it. Let's try it. Golden Freddy is the sixth unlockable character. You need the fifth one, Puppet, to get him. I know imagining the puppet as a playable character is weird, but like, Golden Freddy is much weirder, in my opinion. Which is a rare voice line in Ruin. Ew, this thing could <laughs> I thought it was gonna be the, the rare voice line of Gregory talking to-, to That's Cassian. one yeah. of them. The other yeah. one is in here. It's definitely not if this is this a Faz Ranch. I've heard that a bajillion times. I think it's B because that's a, that's such a stupid reference to Resident Evil. I was almost a Cassie sandwich must play after the elevator drops. And I don't think I've heard it very often. So I'm going to go with that one. And I believe, fun fact, I think that's a reference to like Resident Evil 1. I mean, I remember that, but it's rare. I'm guessing it's this one because this thing killed Bonnie. Well, it's definitely not B. So I heard that on my playthrough. It can't be rare if I've heard it. I've never heard of this, heard this one. So this happens when the elevator falls, when she's climbing up the, sh the elevator shaft. Right. That's a rare line. I don't know. I'm going to say this one because this one's not rare. B. Unfortunately for Daco and his secret YouTuber ruin copy, the Cassie sandwich is a rare line. I only heard it a couple times during my many any percent runs. You, this thing killed Bonnie is totally made up. I, I don't think they explicitly say that Monty killed Bonnie, despite how obvious it is. Daco's hair looks different in his Ban Ban 4 video today. I like it. If any of you see Daco this week in your uh, travels, let him know that I like his new hair. Which ending in Security Breach gives you three starts at the start of the credits? Oh, you get three, three stars. Stars, stars, stars. Oh. I have to change that. <laughs> I'm, I'm the first one in the list, if people yeah. can't tell now, from the video. <laughs> Which ending in Security Breach gives you three starts at the start of the credits? <laughs> oh, that's where the spelling error is. Thank you. <laughs> I was looking for that. This one is considered to be the canon ending, I think. 
Yeah, now. That is Princess Quest. The, the D is ending? Damn, yeah. must, have, must have missed that one. Yeah, Secret 7. Yeah. <laughs> it's Princess Quest ending. Uh, that's the Princess Quest ending. D's ending? <laughs> I mean, I haven't got that one. I, mm. I mean, it's the best ending, so I'm going to say Princess Quest. I'm not really a lore guy, but I think the Princess Quest is the one considered canon now or something. Either way, they've been telling us that since Security Breach, I guess. Well, it's the Universal Click Team hotkey that allows you to pause. I didn't know you could pause Click Team games. Yeah, not many people do. That is amazing for thumbnails. I didn't know this. <laughs> yeah. Control P sounds right because it's pause. I think it's Control P. It's gonna not overthink that. That sounds like a thing. Control Enter. I'm gonna say Control P. Why not? I don't know. Shift. You know, I'm gonna. I'll try it. I'll try it. Control P. Let's see what that one does. This has got to be the only question where none of them knew the answer, but they still all got it right. Control P pauses Click Team games. Though, because of the pause window that comes out, I don't know how good it would actually be for thumbnails. Yeah, just kidding, you can pull the pause menu off, so this is killer for thumbnails. Which unfinished minigame that was cut from Security Breach is still cut from Ruin? Well, I know there was a bowling minigame. Well, I mean, I guess Rocks Racing wasn't a minigame, but bowling was. Yeah, it'd would have to be the bowling. It's a shame, I think that would have been a lot of fun. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so I remember there was... An extra eight holes on Security Breach that you could play, but they added new ones in Ruin, but they are still different to the those original eight. That, sorry, nine. I think there was another extra nine. Are they? Yeah, they are different because they added like all the freaking glitchy purple stuff. Oh, that's and... true. Yeah. I would say if they released the nine holes in Ruin that it is a complete minigame now. Okay, okay, so it's bowling then. I probably bowling. I feel like that's the most playable one. I'm gonna say bowling. All right. And if I'm wrong, that's wrong. Yep. Another game overlooks the sweet, sweet bowling minigame. Maybe in Help Wanted 2. Why is Ruins Brazil ending called that? So I didn't know this until a bunch of people told me in the comment section. Gregory goes to Brazil. <laughs> it's a reference to a movie. I just spit. Because I, I know I've heard people be like, why is it called that? And then everyone answers on their behalf, you know? Mm -hmm. <sighs> but it could just be for fun. I'm going to say movie. I don't know. I have no idea. It's a reference to a movie. Uh, yeah, it's a reference to a movie, apparently. I don't know how... Yeah, a movie called Brazil. In 1985, sci-fi dystopian dark comedy film in which a character chooses a fake happy ending over facing reality. Brazil. What part of Security Breach does Steel will consider to be the Vanny boss battle? So during the boss battles, boss battles, it always ends with destroying an animatronic. Right. And well, this one, well... Not like, not Monty, DJ Music Man, not Moon Sun. DJ Music Man is a boss battle? Uh, I believe Steel will would define it as that, yes. Walking over Phaser Blast to her room and ending? They seriously can't consider that a boss battle, there's no way. Wait, how do they consider any of these a boss battle? That's why it's a funny question. If I did this a year ago, I probably would have remembered a lot more. Uh, yeah. So yeah, when you when you click the debug Vanny boss battle, it takes you to... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just the, the ending. They revealed it in one of the sets of patch notes that they considered a certain section. Like, we had a whole field day trying to figure out what they were talking about. I am mind-boggled right now. To me, boss battles are always, like, finale stuff. That's just me. Right. I don't. I don't know the answer. I'm just trying to think logically. Mm -hmm. I'd say the ending where you have to go to Phaser Blast and then uh, flip the switch or get Princess Quest. I'm gonna say this. This that feels right. Maybe walking over Phaser Blast to a room just because all the the guys are like possessed or something. I don't know, man. It's also escaping her and lost and found. It's like one of the only times you actually have to escape her. Yeah. I'll try that. I think. This was so confusing because when the game came out, Vanny was broken at her ending and didn't spawn in. So she wasn't even part of her boss battle. Until a patch which mentioned fixing her pathing in her boss battle, which in reality was allowing her to spawn there at all. Hence our confusion. Where are you in Security Breach in this picture? Uh, lost and found. Yeah, because the shirts are on the ground. Lost and found. Oh, hell yeah. My favorite room. That is the... 
Lost and found room. Because I was glitched there several times. Uh, that's a phaser blast, right? Vanny room. Oh, but yeah, that's not that's not an answer. Maybe lost and found. There's a lot of gadgets back there. Oh, it could be Roxy R Raceway though. Yeah, I'm gonna go Roxy Raceway. I think. Uh, that's lost and found. I'm pretty sure. Then there's this here. So then I'm getting mixed. Roxy Raceway. Because I can see freaking. Oh God. I can see like helmets here. I'm, 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 I'm overthinking it. My first thought was lost and found. I'm gonna go with lost and found. This is an old thumbnail of mine. And only now am I realizing how deceptive this room can be. The fact that it's lost and found means that there's stuff from all over in it. But it is lost and found. Which help wanted minigame is this? <laughs> Is this supposed to just ping in my brain like, ah, yes, I know what it is. Yes. I mean, because I'm, I'm thinking about like maybe D is the correct answer here so far. <laughs> the picture is awful. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, it's plus trap two, the balloons. Half points for clicking D. <laughs> what am I looking at? Yeah, exactly. Is this a glitch? No, no, this is a screenshot from gameplay. In fact, this is what the mini game looks like to be honest it's quite awful <laughs> i'm gonna go on a limb and say it's plush babies too i i I'd want the half point but i also want the whole point yeah or the whole two points yeah so balloon boy balloon boy too let's see what that does this looks like the ending game with like it's like glitch trap like is luring you to the, yeah pizza party it's not but, yeah. but it's not that this looks like the plush trap mini game room yeah now it's balloon boy because i remember yeah the second <laughs> phase of balloon boy there's balloons everywhere Balloon Boy 2. So do you mean like the Plush Trap Balloon Boy minigame 2? Like, these are all when you flip the switch. All these options are from that. Got it. I'm yeah. going to say Balloon Boy 2. All right. Obviously, it's zoomed in. But yeah, during the Balloon Boy 2 minigame, you, you can't really see anything except balloons. What kind of animatronic is this? Uh, ooh. Can I ask if it's right side up? It is right side up. Okay. What am I seeing? <laughs> it's not booty cheeks. If that's what you're thinking. I was. I thought it was for a moment. My hopes. Are, my hopes are lost. Now I'm, is is the image like rotated or something? No. That's Toy Freddy. But let me make sure. <laughs> Red puppet. L chip. Ooh 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 ooh. No no <laughs> no. Stop. We're back. Uh, what the? <laughs> they are all like this is right side up. It's Toy Freddy, isn't it the freaking meme one of Toy Freddy? Or am I? A... <laughs> There's like a picture of Toy Freddy and he's like, sex now. <laughs> and it looks like him. <laughs> I'll show you what each of the zooms are based on. Um, it's not sex. <laughs> Maybe it's Toy Freddy? Could also be Al Chip. I feel like, feel like that would be a nice one to just throw in there again as like an extra one. I'm going to go Toy Freddy. I think it has to be. Go with Al Chip. Oh no! It looked like Toy Freddy! You've done too many meme reviews. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, this is El Chip. This is El Chip. Because you see the little the little tooth right there. Immediately I feel like everyone would be like, oh Toy Freddy. This is El Chip. Red puppy I've never heard of. Can I ask? Yeah. Is this an image is this an official image or is it a meme picture or something? Uh it must be an official image. Okay. No, it's Toy Freddy, because I swear El Chip's darker than that. I go Toy Freddy. Sometimes looking at infinitesimally small... <laughs> Damn, I shouldn't have written that on my script. Small details gets you ahead. Sometimes you think that regular old teeth are beaver teeth. El Chip is quite dark, and Toy Freddy's got them rosy cheeks. Where are you in SB in this picture? That is... Monty Golf Arcade Machine. What is happening in this picture? Yeah, it is something that you don't normally see. Which means it could be cut content. That is Monty's Golf. Wait. Oh, no. I'm seeing swampiness in the top left, which makes me think Monty's Golf is going to be it in the arcade, just like randomly in the background, because this does not make sense any other way. So, boom, locking it in. Uh, well, why would you put these two? <laughs> this, because this is, this is from one of the levels that was, wait, was it? No, it's not cut. It's not cut. It's not cut. But the image is putting me off. So, um, are you saying, where are you saying this is from? Oh, this is Monty's Golf. 
like, 100%. In, like, the arcade or in the security breach oh. room? Oh, in the actual game. So, what is it, C, then? If you think it's from a golf hole, then yes, it would be C. Yeah, it's C, because this is the, there's a stage here, and Freddy's thrown in the trash, and Monty's up front. Uh, this is the Monty Golf arcade machine. Another thumbnail of mine. This is a really hard to see spot in the last Monty Golf hole in Security Breach where Freddy has been trashed. That's all 50 questions. But before we get to the results, let's see how they rated the quiz. Rate the quiz, be as. Oh, we're done. That was fun. Rate yeah, the quiz, I'm glad be, you enjoyed it. Be as harsh as you'd like. Good. It. Good. I'm a fake fan. Apparently. <laughs> Rate the quiz. Oh, well, with screen sharing, so I guess this quiz was... I'll close my eyes. Enlightening. You've have you definitely closed them? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I, okay, I'm deleting that. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm going to simply just say... There we go. Oh, thanks. I had lots of fun. Smiley face. 10. That's 10. Nice. Now, who do you think won? Was it close? Let's take a look. The pairs that we noticed in the midway point stayed together through to the end. So it's safe to say that competition is between Ryan and Tetrabit, then FNAF and Daco. Starting with fourth place and 63 out of 100 points, with excellent reasoning for his answers and a lot of trust in his gut, Ryan takes this spot. A completely respectable finish, given it has been years since he played a lot of the games we looked at, so anyone's ability to remember fine details would be in rough shape. You can find his channel in the description, go say hi. He just finished the new Resident Evil DLC, and it was a banger. Bringing in third place, just barely beating out Ryan with 64 out of 100 points. Celebrating 10 years on YouTube is Tetrabit Gaming who guessed excellently for the more than a couple questions he hadn't even played the games for, but absolutely knew his stuff when it came to Security Breach. His channel is in the description as well. While making this quiz, my goal was for everyone to get around 50%, but didn't expect much higher. Daco and FNAF both did much better than I expected either of them to do, given how all over the questions were. But who did better? FNAF got the 5 a.m. security breach head corrector for Daco, but Daco got the Toy Freddy zoom in, whereas John overthought his way out of it. Neither knew how to get the blacklisted, but both knew what a zero frame flip was. In the end, Daco finished with an impressive 82 out of 100, getting almost everything right and doing way better than either of us expected. John FNAF finished with an also impressive 83 out of 100. Winning the Spiff FNAF Quiz YouTuber battle by just one point. In a twist of fate, if Daco hadn't gotten the rare Cassie voice line in his playthrough of Ruin, he would have won. Right, stop. That was too close. I was almost a Cassie sandwich. You, you literally were almost a Cassie sandwich, buddy. Congratulations to FNAF. We'll discuss your prize in a moment. I want to say again that because of how different each of these creators' content is, you can't say that one spiff quiz defines their knowledge, but I'm going to have to give myself a pat on the back for keeping 8-Bit Ryan and Tetrabit scores fairly close, because both of them do a lot outside of FNAF, and I'm glad I was able to dip into their knowledge equally. And the same goes to FNAF and Daku, who finished just so close. But now that FNAF stands on top, what does he win? As for the deal, I asked him what he wanted. He laughed and said, a million dollars. So I offered him a trillion, hundred trillion, actually, I didn't notice that. But he said it was too much and asked what his other options were. And so I suggested, why don't I buy you a plane ticket to come and visit me? And so that became the deal. One day in the potentially not so distant future, I'll fly John up north and be able to bully him face to face. Thank you to my contestants for joining the first ever Splig Quiz. I hope you enjoyed. Please sub if you haven't already. See you later.